So in today's video, I am going to be um, sharing with you all how I will be making my oldest daughter's pantry. It is very small, very narrow, and it has some good height. I'm just looking at all of the clutter that she has in here, just a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, she has also different appliances on the bottom and on the very top shelf. Those will not be returning back in there because I'm going to, my plan is to go to Habitat of Humanity and find a cabinet that I can put in her laundry, which is right next to the pantry. All these things that's up here, um, that does not need to be in here because it's taking up valuable space i'm going to hang up a cabinet in her laundry to put all that stuff so here i'm just standing here assessing and trying to decide where to start because i've never done a pantry makeover or organize it's not a makeover it's just organizing so i'm um this is the laundry that i'm in the laundry room and she has a deep freezer and wash and dryer but these are the items that i'm taking out the um, storage containers and bins that she purchased from Amazon. And um, she purchased two of these. These have the, and it's a total of seven, tall containers, storage food containers. And then in the three brown Amazon boxes, she bought bins and it's two sizes, have the wide and the narrow. And I think it's a totally a four of each. So it's a total of 12 in each box. So here I just sped up the video because this took me a literally all day from, uh, let's see, she left at, she left the house at 6.30. So I got started at 7 or 7.30. And I wasn't done with this until the end of the day, which was around, I would say, close to 5 o'clock because it took me a while to think things through. And even the next day, I did just a little bit of, you know, rearranging stuff. You'll see that in the video down. But again, here I am just emptying it out. And then I'm going to set everything out on the table and on the floor. And I'll be sharing with you what it all looks like. And then to get at the top, I'm just taking all the stuff down. Instead of going up and down on the ladder, I'm putting everything down on the second and bottom shelf so that I can just then take it off instead of going up and down, up and down the um, stair step. So I'll come back with you um, if I need to share anything with you, with you, which I will be doing in the video. And I wanna thank you all in advance for stopping by. we finally got this cleared out um, earlier last year I had already cleaned the floors I'm going to clean them again and sweep them and wipe the walls down I wished I could put her a pantry unit in here but this is so small and I'm pretty sure it's possible to do but we're going to work with what she has without having to spend um, any more money. She bought those things that I showed you at the beginning of the video, the containers and things from Amazon. I think I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and get some more things. Um, what I'm learning, because this is my first uh, pantry organization video, is to assess what you have and what you always buy so that you're not buying things that you really don't need. Um, instead of her sending those back and we're getting something and getting something else, I told her I can make what she purchased work. Then I'm going to begin taking everything out of its packaging that can come out and put it in the containers that she's bought. Okay, so I've taken the little papers out of these containers. She has four um, large or sort of <laughs> between the, the tall and the small you can see the sizes from here and I took them out and when I came to this and I told her she didn't even know it but inside the taller ones I guess is the cleaner to clean it for and she had 
too. So she didn't know that she's just paying attention to the container. Oh, cool. And we have stickers. I thought I was going to have to go and buy some. So, and I might get my daughter, my youngest daughter. She has beautiful handwriting. And I might get her to write on these labels for me. But in the tall one, again, she gets a total of two, four, six, eight. Eight, two, four, six, ten labels. So that means she has a total of 20 because she bought two of these. And then she gets the scoops here. And then the cleaner, which is good because acrylic can scratch really easy. So this is the right thing to wash them with. Some, some, um, just some warm water and suds and to clean this out when it gets to that point. And then I wanted to share, these are two different sizes here. Um, they're the same length uh, this way, but this is a narrower one and this is wide. And she has a total of 12 of each because eight came in each box. So four wide ones and four narrow ones. Well, she bought three boxes, so she has a total of 12 of these bins. And then she has a total of 4, 8, 12, 14. I'm going to see if I can get her garage straightened out for her to put these kind of things in there. So it's not taking up space that she needs. So I'm going to get back to what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sit the containers empty in the pantry just to kind of get an idea of what's going to go where because a lot of her stuff... She doesn't have a lot of like pasta for what those long things are for, but she has a lot of things and mainly everything that's in the pantry, majority of it caters to her son. Um, his snacks or um, romaine noodles and different things like that. She kept a lot of her things like the sugar and flour and stuff in her fridge because the one trick that I learned, if you have um things like flour anything that's um grainy or weedy like flour sugar oatmeal anything like that that's open once you open it and you put it away it begins to form bugs in it after a while and that's what she found okay so this is what i'm talking about this is the hungry jack complete pancake mix in these are, see the little bugs crawling? I don't know how they form, but she had them in the box and she had them here in some kind of way they formed. So the other two boxes, I can them. So the one trick that I learned and I've been doing it now for the past five years is anything that has flour, you know, anything that's like flour, sugar, put it in your freezer for about an hour and then store it in your pantry and I don't know what the freezer does to it, but it keeps bugs from form. You know, even those tiny little bugs keeps bugs from formulating into your um, oatmeal and flour and sugar and whatever else that's, you know, got that kind of um, texture. Take it out and then just put it in the container. Even if the container is sealable, we found that still over time, bugs begin to formulate in. And I'm not talking about roaches or anything. I'm talking about those tiny little black bugs. So before putting them up, this is her freezer. So I got all of this here, the cereals, the noodles, the cornmeal. Let's see, that's cornmeal, that's cornmeal. And this is the pancake. I forgot to open this other pancake right here these are the pancake mixes and then black eyed peas and the spaghetti I'm just putting it in there to keep it from going bad I'm just gonna let it sit in the freezer for an hour um, and then I think what I'm going to do is also get those after this I'll get those other boxes that she's had for a while nothing <laughs> has been in has gone in it or anything but I'm just going to put it in the freezer anyway but this will sit for an hour and um, 
I put these in their new container. And then of course the cereal's in a new container. And then I'll put them up in the cabinet and then let you all see the final and complete. The only thing I didn't purchase was the container for the plates. We're just gonna leave them in the box until I come back in July so I can build the shelf. So that's the helpful information that I wanted to share with you all that I've been doing well over 10 years with my sugar, flour, and even coffee. Anything that's grainy or weedy like that, I put it in the freezer for an hour before I put it up. Now what I'm getting ready to share with you is what I did before I put all of that stuff in the freezer. So let's continue on with the video. I'm getting ready to take these containers now and just kind of put them in the pantry just to kind of get an idea of how I want to lay it out. So I have everything laid out and I discovered something about these bins, um, which is not on the box as far as stacking because they're not initially stacking bins, but I'm gonna show you what I discovered. But also I want to share that I remembered that I had this wire basket um, last year um, when I was here for the summer, I was walking around the neighborhood and someone had put this to the side of the road. So I brought it back here because I was gonna make it a small, a mini size bar. I'm gonna spray paint it gold and everything. But she needs the storage and this is perfect in here. It's on casters and the casters actually lock. So um, if her son needs to get something or pull out, it's easy, very small. I just don't know if I'm gonna have it this way or this way. I probably will have it on this side because he's so used to having his snacks to where he can reach it. So this will probably be the snack bin um, or snack cart is what I call it, just for him. So it's easy for him to just grab or if he needs to pull it out to get to it, he can do that and then just put it back. Let me share with you about the bins and it's both for the, the um, narrow one and the wide. I'm gonna take it out to show you all. Um, Okay, so when they come, they come, but they stack like this. Well, I said, well, let me see if these things can stack the other way. And they can, because if you see the little feet right there, and this little lip um, here, it grabs on. So the little feet, the little lip grabs there, and the feet the little feet on the top grabs and locks. And so does the lip. See the, how this um, lip here grabs on the back of that? Because this is really the front because of the handle to pull. But there's also a hole to pull in the back too as well. And then the two little feet, one here and one there, that just keeps it locking to keep it from falling in. And I thought that was so neat. So I'm gonna put it back here. And what I try to do is make sure that it, you know, just for, you can't tell because they're clear, but the way I have them in here is this is the back and this is the front and this is the front and this is the back because that goes in and this is the actual handle. But um, like I said, the way the feet lock in, I can, Let's see, can you see the feet? Nope. Oh, well, no, this is the lip here. And then on here is the feet. That one there and that one there just grabs on. And I looked on the box and it does not show this demonstration of how it can be you know, considered stackables, but this is good because now she can get more space because like I said, to me in here was wasted. When I was stacking them, it was like wasted space up here. So I was able to go up and she can even buy another pack to get another, um, let's see if she would have the room. So then I'll tell her to get another one if she has to get more room. Yep. All she has to do is stack and she can go up three high. So I'll tell her if she just need more room, she can just do that. So all I did was just turn it around and make sure that the lip grab, and there it is. And now that I have everything all lined up, 
I just got to see what she has and decide what is going to go where. And I'll come back to show you what I did. Okay, I wanted to share. This comes in a little miniature size box. It's about as tall as a container. Even though it's enclosed in a cute little box for uniformity, I'm going to take it out and put it in this. Now, not all things I'm going to take out like this. I'm not taking this out because everything is in here to prepare it to be cooked in this. So I'll just sit this in the bin. I could sit this in the bin, but I just want to take it out to put it in here. I think she has some taller spaghetti ones, spaghetti um, that I'm going to put in the taller bin. So I'm going to just again take this out to put it in here. But something like this, I wouldn't take out just to put noodles in. Because again, this is made to be prepared in the container that it came in. Okay, here they are. I tried laying them straight in there, but because it's not, I guess if I had two full boxes, they'll lay straight up and down. But the prettiness comes in the container, and the prettiness is the container, so I'm not trying to get that all pretty. I just wanted it to fit. And then another thing, this lid, it can go, the latch can go either way. And of course the lid, you know, gotta push it all the way down. Make sure it's all the way down. So I sped up the video in this area. I'm actually doing a voiceover over what I had already explained in this part of the video, as you see my hand waving. But I was trying to make sense of how I was organizing the pantry, meaning on each shelf, they were supposedly supposed to be related to one another. Like on one side was supposed to be my grandson's breakfast and snacks. And then on the other side, anything that she needed. And then on one shelf, just all pastas and another shelf pancake mixes and then another shelf just all of her sauces or condiments well none of that panned out but what you will see coming up is how she stored her pancake mixes in a bag they were in the box but then she put the box in the bag after she opened it and she learned it didn't work out after i explained to her what she needed to do so here we go she has different kinds of pancake mix and again she did this because little bugs just formulated in these things and she never put in a refrigerator to kind of prepare them to be out so um i think we're going to have to buy some more containers because i really don't want to put these boxes in here with these bags like this but i don't want to put them in because she has different ones like this is the original and then this is the complete and then this is hungry jack biscuit um or buttermilk pancakes that's complete so I'm at a stump or a stop right now, just thinking and halting because we still got all of these things um, that haven't been open and some that has been open, like the hot sauce and stuff. And then I have all these things. So I'm thinking I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get some things like some basket containers or something. And if I can find something like this, or close to that to get over here um, to make some more storage for all those bottles. In the meantime, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just neatly put them there until I find something. So I'm gonna get back at it. So I decided to go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree to see what I can find because she did have cereal boxes on top of the fridge. I saw these containers. I wanted them to be slender, but the height was just right. And when I did get back to her house with them, one container um, was able to hold one box, complete box of cereal. Um, so I got three of them and then I got three tops. Now I was thrown off a little bit because the tops were on a different shelf and I thought the tops were $1.25 and then the container $1.25. And I said, if I get to that counter and it's that, they were taking them all back because I was not going to pay um, a total of three or two dollars and something just for a top and a container but it wasn't it you get it with it they just had it stacked on the shelf because this day the store was loaded with boxes in the aisles and containers galore on the shelves so um it was still affordable
These storage things have little lids. It has the little spouts. So we'll probably go with that. There's a lot of... They even got some short ones here. I just want to make sure that they fit on the shelves. And here's a little basket. So I was looking at these baskets as a possibility to store her paper plates and I went to an owl that had the paper plates and put them in the basket and was only able to store two packs that had 30 which is a total of 60 and then I saw these collapsible bins it wouldn't have worked it would have been just a waste of money so right now her paper plates are being stored in a cardboard box one of the boxes that her Amazon containers came in until I figure out something else or build her a shelf inside the pantry. So I'm back at the house now to share something with you about one of the containers. Okay, so this is one of the containers from the Dollar Tree. These tops are so hard to put on, but once you get it on, once I figured it out, I stayed in that store to figure it out. I figured once it gets on, it ain't going nowhere. It has a little spout. So I'm gonna show you how I figured out. So this is the back. It has to be because it has the handle. The way that I figured this out is you have to put the front or the back on first and put it in the, take the, this part locks on to this. You just got to get it into the groove and then start pressing it down on the sides, get the back end. Once you get the back and the front end, you got to pop it on. And I mean, push the pop on. Okay, you got the fronts on, and then you gotta push the sides. I mean, it is hard. So this is one you might not wanna buy. I only bought two for her. And see, this is just not catching. So these two things here, one and two, okay, you see, uh, this one and this one is supposed to catch down in here, but I did it in the store, and now she's not going to want to fool with this. So I wouldn't buy this one. Let me get the label. It's this label. The clip lock. I wouldn't purchase this one. I only bought two. Um, but and I've seen a bunch of them in the <laughs> on the shelves where you see that locked. So turned upside down lock. Still, I mean, I got it, but that's not something she's gonna want to go through. So you might want to think twice on getting this one. Once it's secured, oh crap, and I cracked the thing. So, there it goes in here. I know what I can put our cereal bars in here that's already in the bag. You can't put anything like um, pancake mix or anything like that because the air will get out now because I cracked it. So, I'll probably put our cereal bars in here and she still can get to them this way. Okay, so I would think twice about this. <laughs> I decided to put the tea bags in here because they're in their own little pouch and they won't go stale in here. And then the tea bags that were in here, I put them in here and decided to take the um, sunflower seed kernels, take them out of their plastic thing and just put them in here. because that contained, this container was just a little wider. So just taking up just a little bit of room. And, and that all worked out. Again, I would think twice on these things. And the 
Look how it's pressing on it so hard you can't see the white. That means it's going to split. You can't see it right now. Let me see if I can hold on. See how it's white? That means it's going to split and crack soon and it won't be able to seal. It's supposed to look like where is it at? Come on, come on. It's supposed to look like this solid purple. Not like this white, yeah, not cracked, but solid. So that means after opening and closing that for a while, it's going to crack and break. And it won't be good for this lid anymore. She can use it after the lid's no more. She can use it to put stuff in and put aluminum foil on top of it and put it in the refrigerator. But after this breaks... Um, she won't be able to use it anymore. So I don't recommend getting this. Okay, we got everything finally put up the way it's going to be for a while. Um, I have taken everything out of the box and put them in their own containers. So there's two of those containers that have the pancake mix, one in front and one behind that. And then this is just that little individual pancake mix. Um, and then of course everything that I put in the freezer, I put it back in the container. I put this tea up here with the rest of the teas that she has over here. And then these are just little individual drink mixes. Just put them up there because it's beverage along with, um, well, something to mix with water. I told you when I was putting stuff together, I was trying to make sense out of it all. And then you got the breadcrumbs and of course stuffing mixes out of breadcrumbs. <laughs> and then... That one round one back there is cereal. She'll know that because all the cereals are in the round container. Um, I put those and just set them in the bin. Because this wire rack, things rock. So, um, and the way those made, they rock. So I just put them inside the bin. Uh, nothing else other than putting these things up here. The pasta and the cornmeal is up here. And then I put the cereal down here. But I believe everything else is the same. I, When I went to the Dollar Tree, I didn't see anything that was worth spending money to replace this box. So this box is going to stay just for now until I come back again in July to make her a shelf. And again, I said I wanted to order her. There's something on Amazon and I'll see if I can find it, yeah, and I'll link it. And also the cup dispenser that I may put on the side of the wall here somewhere. Um, not gonna paint anything, cause she doesn't require all that. She doesn't want all that, even though I would do it, she doesn't want all that. I am going to be making her house over probably hopefully next year sometime, whenever she says to do it. Um, I'll do it. I've already done the bathroom, but again, everything is on hold until she makes a decision for me to move forward. But that is her pantry, all nice and neat now. And I will show the before photo along with the after. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. restoration, decor, and designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So 
until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.